It match is seven, tonight's main event, known as qualification match, one fall with no time limit. It has all come down to this. The barbed wire, the danger that awaits us. Suzuki Goon has made no bones about the fact that they are no fans of John Moxley. And El Desperado has made no bones about the fact that he has been motivated by June Kasai <laughs> as one of the most violent men in professional wrestling. He was knocked over as a child at an All Japan event by Stan Hansen. From them, this, this violence has been simmering within the bones of this, this great star. And it, it blows my mind. I was talking to Chris Charlton because for Desperado, he wanted the match against Kasai, but then Kasai broke his jaw and he, he wore it like a badge of honor. That takes a different kind of mindset. Hey, you're not even human by right that time. Right. At that point, yeah. Yeah. It, was, it was quoted in your interview as saying, that zone, it isn't quite pain, it isn't composure, it's something else. That's the kind of person we're dealing with. If you see the instruments of destruction have already been placed Blue corner, in and around Suzuki the ring. Gun, unknown height and weight, L. Desperado! And no strangers once again to Suzuki Goon, his, his opponent here tonight. You think back to Forbidden Door, you think back to his battles against Lance Archer, his wars against Minoru Suzuki, and now standing across the ring from a dangerous, demented man. Who has done it all. Who has been the IWGP United States Champion. Who has written his own ticket. He is the interim AEW World Champion, but that title is not on the line tonight. This match tonight is not about championships. It's not about climbing the rankings. It's about a vendetta. It's about violence. It's about answering the call of madness. It's about fun. He hit, well, that's what, that's that's what Desperado said. I don't believe said, that. That sounds fun. He likes to bleed and make other people bleed. That sounds fun to me. And when anybody stands across from the ring, John Moxley, and says something like that, you know we're in for one, one or two screw loose. Screws loose, my God. I'm already getting wigged out by this matchup. I don't blame you. Who, who volunteers themselves for a match like this? Nobody. A no different one. level that's, of competitor. That's not competing, bro. That's, that, that's a death wish. Well, how appropriate coming from the Death Rider himself, representing the Blackpool Combat Club. Riding high right now, they have the Ring of Honor World Championship, the Interim AEW Championship, the Ring of Honor Pure Championship. But like I said, this match is not for accolades, and that's why it's oh. even crazier, because there's no title on the line, there's no defense. He's going into war for the, for the sake of going into war, because he loves it. Red Corner, AEW Blackpool Combat Club, six feet, two inches, 225 pounds, the Death Rider, John! Moxley! And earlier tonight we saw Shooter with the Death Rider, the finishing move of John Moxley. I don't know that he's going to look for that here tonight. I think he's going to look to, to just main Desperado to the point where he doesn't even have to go for the Death Rider. I mean, look, I, I've wrestled John Moxley once or twice in my career, and that was when he was in a good mood with traditional rules. Imagine when he's a little salty and has all the rules tossed out the window. Yep, don't want to do it. No. <laughs> sure. nope. and, Desperado knows and, what he's getting into. And you fought the Briscoes in a fight without honor. You, I mean, you were 30 minutes with the, the baddest tag team in the planet, and you're saying you wouldn't go in the ring with this guy? That says a lot. Yeah, because we were fighting for titles. Like you said earlier, <laughs> this is for nothing. Just pure pain. Just to see who can hurt the other more. We see a Connor elbow tie up and immediately trying Whoa. to back Desperado, who's given up probably <laughs> Probably a good 20 or 30, 30 pounds. And he's, he almost stuck his tongue out. It's almost like he wants to lick the barbed wire. 
And like I said, the, the crazy, the weapons of destruction have already been laid out here. I mean, I, I don't know what New Japan Pro Wrestling Management's thinking. We knew these guys would be going for the weapons no matter what. But we are setting everybody up for destruction from moment one. And, and Desperado touching that barbed wire. Looking at Desperado's face, I wasn't sure if he liked it or disliked it. Yeah. You gotta love the, the juxtaposition here of, of going for that that wrist lock, that double wrist lock. Right. Like like it's a like it's a technical wrestling bout, but they're simply doing it just to push the other Whoa. opponent into the barbed wire. And, and, and Moxley getting closer and closer to the barbed wire. And Moxley with the advantage. Irish whip. Whoa! Stops short. <laughs> and it's always been that that element of danger that's motivated both men here. Normally, Desperado, a, a kingpin in the, in the junior heavyweight division. Mox, more so in the heavyweight oh. division. And now, look at Mox giving Desperado you know, a free shot. Adjusts the neck, delivers a forearm of his own. And Already, this is broken down into simply a test of will here. And like I said, I don't think we're going to see the Death Rider necessarily. I don't think we're going to see submission holds like we saw in the last bout. We're going to see a lot of that, though. Desperado looking for the advantage, shoulder to shoulder. It's Moxley. Again, 20, 30 pounds can make a world of difference. And he's saying the mask is coming off. I'll see if he can deliver. We'll also see what happens to that 20 or 30 pounds when you got some barbed wire wrapped around your face, Ian. Oh. But right now, he's going for the mask. Whoa. So he is, not he? Oh, oh he's, he's, he's getting a, it. He's got a lot of it. Tearing, tearing a chunk above the eye of that mask. And that not, not only plays a physical role, maybe obstructing the vision a little bit, but it gets into the head of Desperado a little bit here. And, and he found enough to yap back at Moxley. That's how, that's how crazy this man is. And nobody home. Into the red corner, Desperado catches the boot. Into the knee. It's Desperado, single leg here. Oh! oh. That delayed dragon screw, beautiful. That is a signature move of Desperado. And that knee has given Mox trouble over the years. And I know we didn't think we'd see anything too technical, but hey, if you can use that to find an opening, Oh. As he goes to work on the knee of Mox, it's just going to make the, uh, the more violence later on a little bit easier for you to inflict. Tangalo, what do you even do against an opponent on either side, oh. like Mox or Desperado, that is just bent on hurting you? You pray. You That's pray. what you do. <laughs> That's you pray to God they don't hurt you. But right now, I feel like Desperado is doing the key thing right now. He's smaller than Mox. Take the leg out. Bring Moxley down to his level. Why is he getting the... romantic? What? Oh no! Oh no! No, those oh, are sewers. God. Oh god! Those are meat sewers. You, you put the shish kebab and oh, no, yeah, no. I, I don't need the the explanation there, and I, I know what a skewer is. And, and he's going, he's going right for the skull of Moxley. Well, of course he is. Shot to the midsection. Oh, and again, back down to that knee. The song is Desperado. You got to let somebody love you, not let somebody maim you. Uh -oh. But apparently that's on the menu here tonight. Oh, oh right to the forehead. Oh, My Jesus. God. Sick, absolutely twisted. And a kiss for good measure, liking the destruction he's caused. I'm not, I feel like he charged after a porcupine. Those needles are sticking out. Heart, my God. And Mox trying to swat them away. Just, just stuck in the head. And Desperado certainly with the, the physical advantage. Likely, oh. And he's struggling to get them out. It's a Mox kebab. No, medium rare. No, you don't want it. Fans, you don't want that as a souvenir. No, you don't. Whatever oh. you do, do not touch him. Leave it to the professionals. Yes, we have we have staff who are wearing gloves like Jeremy Marcus is around ringside here. Mox in big trouble. The blood pouring from the head, as you see here. Great camera shot. And now tearing at the scalp and the forehead. 
of that wound he just created Five with those time. skewers. Oh, who does, who bathes in another man's blood like that? A nut, a nut is who does My that. My God. And tearing at the forehead again. Well, I, I mean, we knew this one was gonna get wild and violent no matter what, but I'll be perfectly honest with you, at the start of this matchup, if you, I thought it wasn't gonna be John Moxley who drew first blood, I thought that would have been crazy. But and, and, Desperado here has taken the fight to the Death Rider. And, he, and he's looking to send him in. Oh, God, right oh, in the skull. Oh, he got him. And, and Mox, and he's stuck. S sticks him with that pointed end of the barbed wire. First the skewers, now the barbed wire. And Desperado and Moxley. Oh, and, and telling him he can't see him. And now just taunting him. Now saying he can have the free shot, of course, now that he's lost several ounces of blood. Stepping over, traps the legs, deathlock position, and really riding it down. Butterfly in the arms, and this works on the inside yeah, of the groin. Pressing down on the legs and thighs there. Mox trying to fight back. Now going whoa, to the mask whoa. again. Trying to tear it off. Just ripping it, trying to rip it in half. And, and, and tearing it away. And that's enough for Desperado to have to break the hold. Gentlemen, the amount of blood coming out of Moxie's head right now. It, it's pouring out. And you have to admit, maybe, maybe he wants to rip that mask open so we can repay that favor. Make sure he bleeds off through his head just as much as Mox's. Down to the outside. Desperado remains on the inside. Moxley able to land on his feet. And Moxley laying in wait for Desperado. Off the ropes. Desper Looking to take to the skies here. Oh! 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 Uh, it wouldn't be Music City without a little guitar action, baby. And Desperado. And Mox, they're playing your song, brother. Hey, Ian, you might want to sign that piece of guitar right there. That's a history. Yeah, that's my eBay, baby. <laughs> there you and go. And we take a look at the replay. Diving through. Connects. I've been hit by a guitar, too. It's not fun. Yeah, I'd rather hear music off of that, not somebody's head. Oh, we heard music. It just wasn't the music I yeah. think you were expecting. Is now look, see Mox. He's got a shard from that guitar. And the best guitar solo since the Honky Tonk Man. And it may be Desperado, but it looks like we got the next Glenn Fry out here. And from a guitar solo to the symphony of this crowd saying to um, <clears throat> mess him up, Moxley. Yep, yep, that's what he said. That, that's definitely what they said, not anything else. And Desperado is out. Oh, 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 and that is a what? shard. That is, is a, gonna... that is fiberglass no. and wood. And oh! Oh, God! Back and forth. Right to the skull and the eye, almost the eye. Good. Just oh, driving it God. in. And the blood now pouring out of Desperado. And you talked about you better let somebody love you. There, there's going to be a heartache tonight here, Matt. That and a whole lot of, whole lot of blood. Gentlemen, I, uh, the amount of blood right it's, now, it's, it's just, uh, This is exactly what you uh, expected when you sat down at the table here tonight. Especially but, the way they're extracting this blood out of their bodies. It, uh, I'm used to tables and chairs, but actually but stabbing. There, yes, there's a viciousness behind some of the action here tonight between the skewers, the guitar piece, the barbed wire. And he has him in a power slam position. These would be misdemeanors, if not felonies, in all oh. jurisdictions. Ooh. And I don't know what kind of crime that would be, but it may be enough to end the matches. Oh, God, the, the barbed wire is right between the legs of Moxley. And that might be the most painful part. Renee, turn the TV off now. I'm so sorry. As Mox. Well, she was she desperate was, to she, try to get out of this barbed as just right willing to help him. Oh. And the blood now. 
And oh, trying to return the favor. Oh. And it does! Oh. And now it's Desperado who feels the sharp kiss of the barbed wire pierce his skin. Gentlemen, from where we're sitting right now, the rose is next to Desperado. You feel like it's done. You feel like the rose is relayed next to him. Yeah. The match is over, but it's not. As we take a look at the replay, just driven through with the shotgun dropkick. Yeah, it looks like he's at a funeral. Exactly. The, the red petals of the rose is almost like the blood that's pouring out of these men's bodies. Has him up. Pile oh. driver. Snaps the pile driver in. And he may be looking to end it here. Cover. Two. Two count only. <laughs> you, you almost have to wonder. Why? Yeah. Why kick out? Yes, you, maybe you can, but should you? Right. In a matchup like this. Just call it quits. Just take the fall. Just live to fight another day, Exactly. Maybe. But that's not how Minoru Suzuki has programmed the members of Suzuki no, Goon. we know that very well. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've seen it before <laughs> the show. I've seen Suzuki and Desperado train before matches. I'm telling you right now, they have almost like a 60-minute match before an actual show. So obviously, Desperado's willing to go the amount of length of time we have tonight. Well, we've seen barbed wire, we've seen a guitar, we've seen the, the meat skewers. What could, what could he be possibly looking for? I don't know. The twisted. Oh, no. And it's a, let's go back to a classic. That's something. It's amazing we've come this far that the table is yeah, a yeah, oh, the, ta oh, oh. the table is, is the palate cleanser, and, and if you will. Desperado's reaching for a chair. He's, uh, he's got one. And he's setting it up on the outside, and he's reaching got for another. Oh, they're just grabbing everything. Whatever's not nailed down in boxcars, they're going to pull out from under the ring. He mocks, bleeding from his head, bleeding from his back, Ooh, bleeding back from to his the arm. Hey. It's Desperado, you're right. And this Tonga. is... Oh, oh, God! And that creates two points of impact on the skull of John Moxley. That is even more dangerous than a shot to the head. The rebound, the inertia, and Moxley may have made an unforced error. Oh. Desperado going to the eyes, the bloodshed. He is on that table right now. Desperado lying in wait, saw that opening, and is take, retaking control of this absolutely insane confrontation. Onto the apron, now climbing the ropes on the outside. Mo Mox is on that table. Desperado's going up top. Oh, Mox is up. Mox is up. He, he is. No, 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 no! Oh! The carcass of Desperado! Crashing from the top rope to the floor through that table. And as we go to the replay, the madness in the eyes of Desperado washed away. What did, what did Moxley just grab, gentlemen? And, uh, what is this? Those, are those cut, those are, are those cut soda cans? And who, beer cans? Who has the time to put that together? This lunatic. That, that, listen to the crowd, that's who. And think about how much money this guy makes as the interim AEW champion, as IWGP United States former champion. He's, he's gonna try and end this guy's career. Oh, oh God! my! Just because he can! He has the flex leg. onto the cans! Two. What? No. No. He did not just raise it. No. You talked about Suzuki Goo training for hours. And Moxley is part of Blackpool Combat Club. Being taken to the limit by Regal and has enough time to take a look at this. Set up this contraption oh. of cut aluminum cans. I'm not going to lie, I love my skin too much to allow it to go through that. My God. And if you've ever cut your finger on a little opening of a can or whatever, imagine that times about 100 all across your back and spine. And these two men have been battling for... Desperado's asking for more, guys. What is wrong with these 15 minutes people? of insanity, of lunacy. These guys hate each other. Ever defiant. Catches the leg. Desperado. Wow! Under the knee. Ooh! Oh, and twisting that leg again. Again? Again. And stomping on Moxley. Leg trap. Oh. Stretch, oh. stretch muffler. Oh. Stretch muffler. Just cranking the leg across the back of his own neck. And that knee has got to be bothering Moxley. 
Has the other leg, trying to trap him. Moxley able to step over. Has Desperado caught. Oh! Moxley Armbar. with a submission of his own. Cross Not something breaker. you expected to see in a match like this, but it is effective nonetheless. Oh, and wrist held on to now stopping on the face and the neck and the chest of Moxley. Desperado. Saying it could be over here. Is he looking for another weapon? He's looking to close this matchup. Oh, good, because uh, I don't know what's I don't left. Know. I don't yeah. know how much more either one of these men can take. Desperado. Brock Flash. He got him. Hooks the leg. Could be. Two. Oh. Only two. Only two there for Desperado. But how many men? I've even gotten two on John Moxley. How many men have gone over 15 minutes with John Moxley? Especially in an environment like this, Ian. This has been an all-out war between these two men. Moxley with a forearm. Desperado returns volley. Ooh. Ooh. Right hands. And a big right from Desperado. Under the jaw, three in a row. Oh. Four arms connecting. Rapid fire from Mox here. Oh, looking for the lariat, caught into the backslide. Whoa. Brings him around, double under, hooks the arm, plants oh. him down. Plants him down. Rolls Cover. him over here. No. Hooking him through. Oh, spins him down. Huge lariat there from the Death Rider. And here we go! Got oh. it! Death Rider plant Desperado! And he's not done, he wants to put him out. Into the sleeper, into the choke, wrenching it in! Pulling him and trying to break him almost in half, but Desperado desperately hanging on. Is he gonna make it? Trying with all he's got! Shooting the finger to Defiance referee Jeremy Marcus. To the end. But that's the eyes, it. The eyes go to the back of his head. 17 minutes, 20 seconds. Your winner, John Muxley. Brutality personified. Absolutely unbelievable the length these two men went to, Tondaloa. Yeah, I, uh, I honestly believe Desperado would have died in the ring had the ref not called it. You saw the eyes roll back in the head. He, he didn't give we, up. We take a look at the replay, the fingers, and then the eyes literally go blank. Great call by referee Jeremy Marcus, unable to continue. For, for, the, for the sake of both these athletes, future careers, especially Desperado in that position. What an all-out war, though, here in Music John City. Moxley! Going into this, you had to believe John Moxley undoubtedly was the favorite, but I saw a lot of the Desperado here tonight. Yeah, I, uh, I had no idea Desperado was willing to go to those lengths to win. To yeah. win. A few God. people did, but their eyes, ironically enough, were open tonight to just what Desperado was going to do. John Moxley continues his role, the interim AEW champion. The man who's held the IWGP United States title. Yeah. <laughs> and one of the most violent, vicious matches we've ever seen in New Japan. Rocks there almost saying, he said, hey, that's what you wanted the fight. You asked for it. You wanted the violence. Well, you got it here tonight. And fans, what a great event this has been. Music City Mayhem, we want to thank everyone at Fight TV for joining us. And if you like this, if you're joining us for the first time, you can join us on New Japan Strong every Saturday night, 8 p.m. Eastern. Tonight, our main event, Jay White and the Bullet Club taking on Fred Rosser, Kevin Knight, and Hiroshi Tanahashi. What a dream team that is. We will hope you enjoy all the other great events here on Ric Flair's last match weekend. And from everyone here from in New Japan, Tangaloa, Drama King Matt Rayball, thanks so much for joining us. Happy wrestling, everybody. We'll see you on New Japan Strong.
In case, in case you haven't noticed, with everything going on this weekend, in case you haven't noticed, look to your right and look to your left, looking behind you at all these fans here in Nashville, professional wrestling in the year of our Lord 2022 was alive and well. It doesn't matter if the card says, has the letters N, J, P, W, and it doesn't matter if the card has the letters A, E, W, letters, letters, fucking mic sucks. Fuck, the only three letters you need to worry about on the card are M, O, S. Because when you see those letters, you know that no matter where we are, what day it is, what time it is, you see those letters, you know it's about to go down. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Happy wrestling. We'll see you on New Japan Strong.